Hi, welcome to this tutorial about robust multi-level modeling or robust linear mixed effects modeling or robust hierarchical linear modeling. Those are more or less different names for the same set of techniques. Here we'll show you a robust alternative to the normal maximum likelihood estimation. You can use this, for instance, if you suspect that you could have outliers and thereby possibly a violation of the normality assumption. The robust estimation works by downweighting extreme cases. So outliers have less influence on the estimation and the test than in a normal multi-level model. First, let's load the necessary packages. LME4 isn't necessary. That's one normal multi-level or linear mixed effects model estimation package. But I think it's helpful to compare the results from a normal estimation and a robust estimation. So therefore, I will use this package as well. And robust LMM, that's the package for robust multi-level modeling. Then let's look at the data set. This is an example data set for the standard textbook about multi-level modeling by Hox et al. And in our example, we want to predict the popularity of students from their extraversion that sex, those two are level one predictors, and from the experience of the teacher, that's a level two predictor. In this example, we'll be running a random intercept model, that is, with fixed slopes, but the intercepts vary between the groups. And here we have 100 classes with 20 students each, so sample size is 2000. First, Let's run the normal estimation. Here we have the LMER function from the LME4 package. The dependent variable intercept our fixed effects predictors. And here we define the random intercept. And here are our results, random effects, fixed effects, and correlations of fixed effects. Now we want to do the same with a robust estimator. Here is the function for that. RLMER, so robust linear mixed effects regression. And the nice thing about this function is the syntax is the same as in the LMER function from the LME4 package. If you compare those two functions, there's just one tiny difference, the R in front of the function name. The rest is the same. So how you request the fixed effects, the random effects, where you put in the data and the estimation method, in this case maximum likelihood, it's exactly the same. So if you know how to run a linear mixed effects model with the LME4 package, you basically know how to run the same model with the robust LMM package. You just change the function name from LMER to RLMER. This can take a minute or two. Robust estimation takes more time than our normal estimation. I've cut the video to the time where it was finished, in my case about 30 seconds. Let's look at the results. First we get the formula, then the residuals, and here we get more or less the same results as in our normal multi-level model. The random effects, the fixed effects, and the correlation of fixed effects. Of course we will get different results in this robust estimation. In this case the differences aren't very large because this is a very well-behaved data set. Here the variance of the random intercept is a little bit smaller whereas the variance of the residuals is slightly larger, but no big difference here. Here on the right hand side, I've put in the values we got with our normal estimation with the LME4 package for the sake of comparison. And you can see that here the values are quite similar. But in a data set with many problematic outliers and with a massive violation of the normality assumption, the results could be quite different. And in that case, the robust results are more trustworthy. What is new is this additional information. It's about the robustness weights, because this works by downweighting extreme cases. And here we can see for the level 1, 1600 weights are about 1. So those cases were fully weighted, and the remaining 400 ones were downweighted. So on our average, those 400 additional cases only got weights about 81%. The smallest one got only a weight of 41%. 
the same for the level 2 random effects, in our case the random intercept. In 83 of our 100 classes, those classes were fully weighted, and for the remaining 17 classes, their weights were on average 77.6%. The class with the smallest weight, so probably the strongest outlier, got only a weight of 40%. The information down here is technical information about the fitting process. To understand that, you have to dig much deeper into the mathematics of this robust estimation. Now we have robust results and we know that on level 1 and on level 2 there were problematic cases or problematic groups when it comes to level 2. If we want to look up those problematic cases or those problematic classes, we could do that by getting the robustness weights. And that's possible with the getME function. First on level 1. Now we would get a list of all 2000 cases and the weight they got in the calculation. For many cases the weight is 1, but we have cases that were severely downweighted, as in this example. The same and probably more interesting for level 2, which classes are outliers when it comes to the random intercept. And here for each class we can see with which weight it was calculated in the estimation process. And we could identify the classes that were severely downweighted, as for instance this one. With this line you could request additional information about this function. You'll get a PDF file explaining in detail how this process works and explaining how you could change the parameters of your model, the so-called tuning parameters. There are default values. Those we do get if we don't request specific values, but you could change those tuning parameters. If you want to know more about that, you can find recommendations in this additional document. So that's it for robust multi-level model or robust linear mixed effect modeling. I hope this has been helpful for you. See you in the next video.